Hey, what's up everyone? This is Vani Hudson with FixedByVani.com and today I'm going to show you four tips, four tricks, four things you absolutely positively need to know about Windows 10. Come with me. The first thing is that Windows 10 is very amenable to laptops. There is a new feature called Battery Saver that will help you get the most out of your laptop and may even make your battery fall in love with you. I'll tell you what I mean in a moment. The second thing is that now you can screencast your own videos. You don't need to use Camtasia Studio. You don't need to use any fancy software. It's built right into Windows 10 and it's a nice little feature except that it's kind of hidden. So I'm going to show you how to get there. Third, I am going to show you how to surf without distractions. Yes, of course, you could always download Adblock, but Microsoft Edge, which is Microsoft's latest browser, now lets you surf in a special reading mode, which removes all the distractions and will make your surfing experience more enjoyable. And then finally, the last thing I, I want to talk about today is how you can be... <laughs> I'm laughing because this last uh, feature is kind of cheesy, what I'm calling it, but basically how, how you can become a disk storage assassin. There's a new feature built into Windows 10 that will give you a great visual of how much space you have left on your drive and what apps are consuming the most space. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's do this. All right, so here we are logged into my Windows 10 box. And this picture, by the way, I took on my Blackberry when my wife and I were um, at our honeymoon, Omarea, as you can see, it looks kind of good, surprisingly. Blackberry, and this is something like five years old, so it's not about the camera, it's about the photographer. <laughs> All right, so anyway, let me show you the first setting. It's the uh, battery usage. So if you click on Start, and then you go to Settings, go up to System, you can go to Battery Saver. Another option is just to type in Battery saver and you'll get it that way too. Now, right now you can see my battery is at 98%. It'll try to calculate how much time I have remaining. That's really not new. You can of course also find that here on the bottom right corner of the screen where you get your battery settings. For example, I can click this and I can see that I have 56 minutes remaining and I can see that battery saver is now open. If I go down to the battery saver options, this is the cool part, right? So this is the new stuff. If I click on battery saver settings, I can set a threshold that will engage when the battery level falls below it. So if I click battery saver settings, right now it's set to 20%. So if I set this to 10% or 5%, that would be the mark that would engage the battery saver. You can also have it you know, push notifications from any app while in battery saver. Um, that just means that you're, you don't want your apps to stop receiving notifications just because the battery saver is on. So you can use this to sort of override portions of the battery saver settings. Of course, you want to leave this last setting on. This will save your battery. The brightness is one of the largest, uh, it's one of the most resource intensive uh, settings that you could leave enabled. And then here you can create an exception. You can just add an app and you can say, all right, well, my alarms clock app, I want to make sure that that always gets through no matter what. Um, so this will sort of be this will be exempt for, from the um, the battery saver stuff. This is always going to run in the background, in other words. All right, so that's the battery saver settings there. I do want to show you this. If you click on battery use back on the first page or the first screen, you can set it from 24 hours to 48 hours to one week. So this is great. So let's say you've got the battery saver running for a while. You've got it running for a week. You can look at historical data for it here. You can also see. Um, you know, how many, uh, how much, what percent is in the background and what percent is actually in use. And then you can change these settings. If I click change background app settings, I can say, all right, you know, I want these apps to always run in the background. Some of these apps, you know, I, I don't want to always run in the background. Basically, you can turn it, you can turn these apps on and off as you, as you feel, as you please. Um, so this is a new setting. This is completely new. Windows 7 did not have anything like this. Uh, this is a completely new screen and new settings, so definitely check this out. The second thing I want to show you is how you can screencast your own videos. Now, screencasting your own vi videos is really cool. Um, before, you'd have to use something like Camtasia. Or you'd have to use you know, free software that you can find online, or sometimes people pay for it. Like I'm paying for Camtasia Studio 8. Don't get me wrong. Camtasia is the bomb diggy. Okay, I love this software, but 
it costs a lot of money. You know, this, this software isn't cheap. So uh, Microsoft now has a new feature where you can record in any app. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I click on start and I go to all apps and let's go to the maps app. See, it says press win plus G to open the games bar. That's what we want to do. Win plus G is your secret key for saving, recording the screen of whatever you're doing or taking a screenshot of it. The key is that it doesn't save it to your pictures folder or to your library. It saves it in the Xbox app. So let's say, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this, you know, this beautiful graphic of, it looks like downtown New York City. And I want to actually record a video of this because I want to send it to some people. Um, you know, I, I, you know, that's my thing. You know, I want, I want to send a video of Wall Street to somebody. So I just press Windows key G. And this will bring up the games bar. Now, look at this. This is the games bar. Xbox app, I can get to it this way. I can record that. <laughs> that's just what they're calling it. Record that. Uh, this records it to the, uh, the Xbox. Actually, I don't know what this does, by the way. Um, it looks like this records it to, that's like a little controller for the Xbox. So I'm not going to talk about that because I don't know what that does. But on um, the games bar just went away. Let's bring it back, Windows key G. Um, this will allow you to take a screenshot. And this is the start recording button. So you press Windows key Alt plus R to start recording your screen. This is the settings. And then you can you know, move this bar around wherever you want it to be. Um, now, if you click the Xbox, if you click record, start recording, it would record, except my computer doesn't meet the hardware requirements. So if anyone would like to donate me a more powerful machine, please send me an email to vani at fixedbyvani.com. Yes, that is my email address. And yes, I do check it. And yes, I do get spammed all the time. So please, please send me real messages. All right. Anyway, that's how you do that. If you want to um, look at your recordings, go into the Xbox app. There it is right here. Um, and this will sign you into the Xbox universe where you can then start, uh, you know, looking at all of your settings and playing with everything. You might have to create an Xbox account, which I believe is separate from your Microsoft account. So, you know, keep that in mind when you do this. I'm actually, I've already done that. So I'm going to log in with my, my built-in Xbox account. And here you go. All right. So the other thing I want to do is I want to show you how you can surf without distractions, without downloading Adblocker. All right, so now I want to tell you about Microsoft Edge and the kick-ass reader mode, right? So Microsoft Edge is a completely new browser. It is not Microsoft Internet Exploder. <coughs> I mean Explorer. Um, <laughs> it is completely different. It's a completely new rendering engine. It's faster. It's sleeker. It's ways less. And it costs free 90 free. That's right. It is free. Of course it is. So let's go ahead and click on the little E. It looks kind of like Internet Explorer. You can see Internet Explorer lives on with a little icon. And let me show you what this reader mode is all about. So let's go to a cool web, a website with a lot of ads. CNN. Okay, I didn't want a video. I want an article. So let's just bring up an article. Do articles even exist anymore? Here we go. So we've got this article, which is old for some reason, but it's still posted to this website. Right, so now we're going to look at this page. You can see all the ads. They're everywhere. Click reader mode. Or you can press control shift R. The reader mode is right up here in the um, progress bar or the uh, location bar. And look what happens. Wow. Can someone say, wow, isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Now, you can read this without any distractions. Um, it's actually kind of cool. And of course, if you click it again, it takes you out of reader mode. And you can do this on many, many sites. For example, let's say if I went to blaze.com okay just that 
Uh, sorry, I mean, uh, forget this. It's not loading anything. Uh, this site sucks. Wow, I can't even close it. Cool. Yeah. All right, so now let's talk about disk storage and what this is about. This is the fourth feature I want to show you today. Fourth and final feature, that is. All right, so if, to go to disk storage, click on Start. Click on Settings. And then you can go down to storage, which should be under um, system, maybe. Yes. And then storage. Now here you can see I'm using 18 gigs out of 60 gigs. So I have a 60 gig hard drive. If I click this, it actually breaks it down by apps, by documents, by pictures. And this looks something like the breakdown an app probably on your Windows phone or your iPhone or your Android. It's coming to Windows 10. And it's kind of cool, right? So you can see how your space is divided. Um, you can click the little refresh button to you know, get the most up-to-date information. And if I click one of these little graphs, it shows me more information about it. I can see exactly what's going on here. Oh, let's go back. Apps and games. You know, it'll try to calculate which apps are using the most. And VMware Tools is using 125 megabytes for this box. And here's the other apps. Um, I can type in an app name and search for it that way. I can sort by size, sort by install date. So I can see, okay, all these apps are the most recent apps, and these apps are using such and such amount of space. Uh, what else can I do? Yeah, so this is, this is pretty cool. Click an app, I can click on install. That's cool. You know, we never had this before in Windows. So my name is Vani Hudson, and I am with FixedByVani.com. That is my blog. That's where I live. That's where I dream. That's where my hopes and aspirations reside. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, check it out. Just thumb this up, thumb it down, clap, shout, scream, curse, yell. I don't care. Just interact with me. Let me know in the comments. I like to get in there and bounce ideas off people, bounce insults off people, whatever. OK, and uh, also go to uh, click the subscribe button on this on this so that you can get more stuff like this in your YouTube. All right. Thank you. And I'm out of here. I've got to bring some groceries in. <laughs> it's time to eat. Bye.